Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this makeup look. So, let's get started. So for the headband, this is what I'm using. This is from the dollar shop, Beauty Goods. First thing I will use is a multi-purpose Velcro headband to keep the hair away and covered. It's soft and comfortable, perfect for daily use and very convenient. For the eye base, I'm using LA Girls Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. Really amazing stuff. If you don't have an eye primer, then definitely go for this. And this is the shade Natural. I do love the applicator, the brush. The long-lasting wear formula camouflages darkness under the eyes, redness, and skin imperfections. It turns a thin, delicate, often discolored eyelid area into a smooth, even-toned canvas, so you get the best effect from your eyeshadows. Using the brush applicator of the concealer, I will spread the concealer into the center of the eyelid, smooth it into the inner corner of the eye gently, then to the outer corner of the eye using the applicator. I will use this brush to blend. This brush is essential for a great eye makeup application and one of the few brushes you actually need. This brush is crucial for creating a smooth base for any eyeshadow application. You are looking for dense, firm bristles and a bit of a thicker brush. I will blend the concealer into the crease, extending it up towards the brow for a seamless, natural looking finish. If there are any creases or missed spots, I will simply pat the finger over them to smooth it out. Once the concealer has dried down, make sure to set it with a translucent powder. I don't have that as well, so instead I'll be using this powder from Eve Color. Everything is written in Chinese, so I have no idea what's written here, but I think this is a powder foundation. And they also have a mirror here, and they have a cushion. I used it already. And yeah, it, it kind of darkens, so you need to get a lighter shade. If you have a tendency to get oily lids like me, you should not skip this step. I will use this small brush with short, dense bristles and a dome tip to apply the powder. This will help prevent the eyeshadows from looking patchy and make the colors super easy to blend out. Just grab a small eyeshadow brush and dip it into a generous amount of powder, then press the product directly into your eyelids until you have covered the entire area. After that, you're all set to start applying eyeshadow, the start to a beautiful makeup look. Let's do the eye makeup. For eyeliner, I'm using this from Miss Rose Professional Makeup. It is a magic eyeliner and seal eyeliner. Uh, this side is the eyeliner and this side is the seal eyeliner which is the stamp. So I will show you the stamp first. The stamp is well inked and deeply pigmented giving your wings a perfect consistent shape with each application. The eyeliner is very thick. This is the eyeliner and then you fill it in. Let's try out this dual sided eyeliner pen. Now this is a long lasting waterproof liquid eyeliner pen even though it doesn't mention that on the packaging. It comes with two tips. The first one is a stamp that allows you to get the perfect wing on the outer corner of your eyes. The second is the eyeliner pencil that glides effortlessly onto your skin without skipping or pulling. Join the stamp with the trace for a flawless wing eyeliner look. This is a quick drying formula that delivers an intense black pigment that won't smudge. Gently press the stamps on the outer corners of your eyes, trace along your upper eyelash line until it joins with a stamped wing. Now I'm going to quickly curl my eyelashes. Don't forget the bottom lashes. So for mascara, I'm going to be using the Volume Glamour Max from Bourjois Paris. This contains natural wax and black pearl extract to protect and strengthen lashes. Provides 10 times more volume and 16 hours hold. Features a full rounded contact brush with ultra soft fibers. Helps coat and plump every single lash. Creates deep black and luminous lashes. Suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow, it is a very beautiful eyeshadow color. Now this has a mirror at the back, but I cannot tell you which shade this is. All of the stickers and information has been rubbed off as you can see. Oh, the mirror at the back. So this is from Rachel Cosmetics. I got this from Jetta from Bashawat. Now I want to say it's written on this packaging. It is backed eyeshadow. I mean baked eyeshadow. So I was researching what exactly is baked eyeshadow. Well it's made with lots of oils and emollients and it's baked usually in an oven to get its texture. It often has a domed shape. It's generally gentler on the pigmentation when used dry. It's smooth and blendable making it easy to apply. It's a good choice for beginners or for people who are looking for easy, work-friendly looks. So this is a dry swatch. As you can see, the color is so intense, so pigmented, but it's not showing up like this on the eyes. Again, baked eyeshadow is really perfect for someone who is not looking for in-your-face pigmentation right off the bat. So this product is really good for anyone who has very oily eyelids. This is from Stage Line. It is the perfect seal powder fixer. 
Uh, it is a liquid fixer for eyeshadows, all powder products, glitters, aqua makeup. It allows the application to be intense, very resistant with eyeshadows and eyeliners, highly moisturizing and dries quickly, easy to remove with water. I'll show you all of that. This is a miniature stainless steel palette that you can wear on your finger. It's a really great tool to have, especially when you're doing makeup, nail art, whatever. You can just fit it here. This is not waterproof as mentioned, but it does have staying power. This stuff rocks and it gives you a very foil look for your shadows. You just won't believe. You only need a few drops and that is it. Less is more. This is the secret to keep your eyeliner eyeshadows on your eyes all day long, especially if you have oily eyelids. So just take a drop off the sealer and take a bit of your eyeshadow that you want to use on your eyes and make a paste of it. Apply it to your eyelid and you will see just how gorgeous this looks. Let me show you this highlighter bronzer duo palette from the Dollar Shop up close. So it has a bronzer, it has a highlighter. So this is the highlighter. And this is the bronzer. And I love the bronzer. It does not have shimmer. Finally. You can also use this as an eyeshadow. So gorgeous. So creamy. Sweep the medium light brown bronzer shade just above the crease of the eye close to the brow bone. Make your eyes pop and pick up the Bourjois Eye Pencil in Ultra Black that won't run, won't crease, won't fade away. Then I will use the Rimmel London Professional Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Black Brown to fill in the gaps of the brows and soften and sweep the brows into place using the built-in brush. This brush is mainly used to define and fill in brows as well as for gel eyeliner application. I will use it to shade my lower lash line because this has a small angled brush which has dense firm bristles to help me color in the area close to the lash line and not spread it out. Dip the brush into the same baked eyeshadow and fill in the lower lash line in smooth short strokes. Gently pat in the eyeshadow and then start to diffuse the color along the lower lash line. To do that I'm going to be using this brush. This is a smudge brush. As the name suggests, smudge brushes are used to create smudging effect, but they are multi-purpose brushes too. If the shadows are more pigmented, smudge brush can help you spread them easily. You can blend different shades efficiently. Using this duo palette from the Dollar Shop, I'm going to be using the highlighter part now. To apply the highlighter, I'll be using a pencil brush. This brush is small and is shaped like a pencil tip. The tiny tip allows for precise highlighter application. I'm going to place the highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes, the brow bone areas, and the points of the arches of my eyebrows. Dots of blush provides instant illumination and the final flourish to your face. Choosing the perfect color for your skin tone is key to getting the look right. I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and just right above the chin. For the lips, I'm going to be using this dual lipstick and liquid lipstick set. This is the lipstick. This keeps your lips very soft, smooth and ultra hydrated and also it has a great color payoff. You can keep it sheer or you can go very bold with it. This is the shade number 8. To get that gradient lip look I will apply lipstick first because it is so sheer. Just use a dabbing motion when applying to prevent going overboard. Then I will add in the liquid lipstick because this is so pigmented only in the center of the upper and lower lips and lightly move my lips around to blend the color out towards the rest of the lips. This technique ensures that more of the color is concentrated in the center of the lips and just kind of feathers out which is an integral part when it comes to the gradient lip look. I have kept the makeup very medium coverage. You can still see the dark spots. I just focus on getting the skin to look even down as possible. Let's change the hijab and we're not done yet. False eyelashes are a fun, simple way to mix up your normal style and bring more attention to your eyes. For eyelash glue, I'm using this quick dry from Christine Waterproof Clear Eyelash Adhesive Stronghold. I got this from a local cosmetic shop. It's in a tube form. This is 7 ml. You can see it's white, but it dries clear. Next up, I'm using these lashes, Perry Beauty 3D Mink Hair Eyelashes. Uh, this is the style 3D11. I got this from the local shop. Though it may take a couple tries to get down, applying false lashes is incredibly easy and should only take a few minutes once you get the hang of it. Here is the finished final look, minus the contour and bronzer. And we're done! So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. 
leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, all of is bye. Just a kind of high, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.